In a recent edition of Reshape 333, we talked about the, the new chapter that churches are entering and the importance of investing in three priority areas. Our physical face-to-face -face weekend gathering, our online digital gatherings, and thirdly, multiplying micro-congregation gatherings as a strategy to reach those who probably will never enter your physical facility. In this Reshape 333, I want to create some conversation for you and your team around that third priority, just imagining a creative microchurch experiment. If you're committed to, to reaching into places and impacting lives of people who probably will never walk through the doors of your church, then this strategy needs to be a high priority for your church. I want to talk about micro-congregations and help you dream about starting something new. And I want to do it in the next 333 seconds. So let's get at it. Sunday morning has to change. In a previous 333, I talked about that. You should watch it. You can click on it in the description below. Online church no longer optional. Every church must be online with whatever type of digital engagement strategy will fit their context. And finally, I'm almost begging churches at this point to, to try a new experiment where they, where they create a micro church gathering. If your church is committed to, to reaching and engaging unchurched people around conversations about faith and Jesus, then this, I believe, is no longer optional. It is a fresh movement for the 21st century that, that reaches back to the, to the New Testament to find its roots. At least two realities are making this true. Number one, the culture has shifted. Younger generations have, have less interest in theater-style church, where the stage is the focal point and, and rows of chairs face the performers. There's now a desire for more conversation, for more engagement, a model that encourages friendship and connection and, and, and conversational interaction. And number two, while that cultural shift has already happened for younger generations, COVID-19 accelerated the pace of it. Out of necessity, people were placed in different environments. There were family churches and house churches and dinner churches. And surprise, some people really liked it. It became their church in a way that the traditional church never had before. And some don't want to leave it. And others are being attracted to it. So then, are you up for an experiment? A, a committed small group of people can, can commit to doing this. Or even stronger, perhaps, is when an existing congregation embraces this as part of their vision to become a network of connected congregations. The beauty of this is it can begin with a small group of people that all share a vision. It can begin with a small church, a church that begins to dream, or it can begin with a larger church that recognizes that, that one size or one type of church does not fit all. But the reality is size is no factor in trying this experiment. Are you concerned about the current state of the church and the accelerating downward trajectory that many churches are on? Are you, are you worried about the church as you know it and that it's failing to reach most in the younger generations? And are you willing to, to, to consider an entirely new model of what a church could look like? Well, if you are, let's try an experiment together. Here's what you need. You need four things. Number one, you need a team. At least four people, probably not larger than around 10 people. But you can start with a small team. Number two, to get on that team, you simply need three things. You need a heart for your neighbor that will probably never walk through the door of your church, but needs a relationship with God. You need a posture of experimentation. You're, you're willing to try something new and something that many will probably see as crazy. And number three, you need ears that are tuned into what God is saying and feet that are willing to move when God speaks. Number three, you need accountability and connection. Some will choose to build a, a small independent team and, and they're going to go solo and they're going to launch their own microchurch. Perhaps that can work. 
but to but to build something that has a much deeper strength and long-term sustainability it will be best i believe to align that micro church with an existing church that shares your vision that is a church that's committed to to launching some new micro congregations as part of their of their reimagined future these micros are legitimate congregations in their own right fulfilling the biblical essentials for being a church while all the time being tethered together under the leadership and accountability of an existing congregation. And number four, I worked with a great team of leaders for two years and in, earlier in this year we released what we've called the launch course. This two-phase small group self-led video driven curriculum creates a path that will take you from the point of building a team to discovering a dream to launching a, a neighborhood relevant micro church experiment. There's a link in the description below for the launch course as well. All of the links are found in the description. Listen, if you're a person of faith, maybe you're a pastor or you're a leader or perhaps you're a neighbor, a person that believes that God is still active today. If you're that, and if you've been a bit concerned that the traditional style of what we know as church will probably never feel relevant to your neighbor, can I ask you to try this experiment, to, to begin to reimagine church in a fresh new way and consider a neighborhood microchurch experiment as your next best step. Try those four steps.